Six changes coming to the MCC and how they will directly improve your experience playing the game. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you guys enjoy these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel helps more people get a chance to see that keep up to date with all the information going on in Halo. If you'd like to see any other kind of features come to the MCC, make sure to leave in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on within the Halo community, make sure to tap subscribe guys, keep yourselves up to date. So let's get right into the video here. So recently, 343 posted a development update for December 2019 when it comes to the MCC as we had a big drop with Halo Reach coming to the MCC. There are still improvements to be made with that game and so and also just on top of the MCC just in general. So we're gonna go over those changes right here. So number one thing that they're listed that they're gonna be working on that are looking to implement into the MCC is challenges challenges have always been super important when it comes to especially the reach experience and i think implementing challenges with the new progression system will be greatly beneficial for mcc longevity uh as a lot of people have said that the grind has been a bit much and you know it do you do have to you do have to put your certain amount of time in but i've seen plenty of people now popping up on twitter and even on youtube talking about how they are already reached level 100 out of all the ranks already within the first month of the game being released and so it's a bit of a grind but not uh, anything i would say that's too long but they're looking to implement challenges and i think what they're going to try to do here is possibly you know complete some certain amount of task or certain task within the game you get rewarded like an xp bonus which i think would be super great f for people to get if one to get a chance to have people play more parts of the game especially like campaign and firefight and other parts of the multiplayer as well as just give more incentives to hop on and play in a different way to kind of change your gaming experience because once it's the same thing over and over again people get bored of it and they'll move on to something different that's the idea of challenges and hopefully they'll be implemented soon Another addition they're looking to make just for the PC is the message of the day. If you guys do know, I'm sure all your console players do know that once you sign into the MCC, you get a nice little message telling you about what's, in, what's going on with the game, what's new with the game, maybe a new dev update that got released, maybe some tournament going on or something new happening within Halo involving the MCC. You get a message of the day pop up right there. And so they're looking to implement that feature over to the PC as well. Talk about another PC feature looking to be added in for number three here is a server ping list on PC. We have this feature on Xbox. It's super nice to know. Uh, just so then when you jump into a server, you kind of expect what your connection is going to be. Obviously, when it comes to online multiplayer, it's that the higher the ping, the worse your hit registration is going to be. And so it's going to be a much more inconsistent uh, performance. And so then you might want to play tailor your playstyle to that connection. Uh, certainly experience that a bit and uh, it certainly helps knowing what your pings are going to be. So looking to implement that to the PC platform. For the fourth edition looking to be added into the MCC is a push to talk feature adding an option for open mic and support for controllers which is going to be a very important thing to add in there. Uh, a lot of times you see people flaming in the text chat it gets a little annoying so why not just hear it? Obviously, it's, I would also really like to see a feature maybe of, of being able to turn off text chat or maybe resize it or reposition it in some way. Uh, just feel a bit intrusive on your screen when someone's typing in the game right there. Uh, but also, have, obviously having a push to talk is going to be a very important feature. It's very common on the PC platform. Also, adding it to the controller, which would be kind of interesting to see how they make that work. If they're able to make that work on PC for push to talk on controller, that would be awesome. Or just saying on the console just in general as well it would be a nice addition. On top of the push to talk feature, they're looking to add in a key bind to the push to talk feature that you can actually change. Because I think right now it's hard bound to the V key, if I remember correctly. And so that's kind of out of the way. Not very many people use the V key. I like to use left alt for my uh, push to talk. But you know, everyone has their own preferences. So it'd be really nice to be able to rebind that option. Having an easy to use in-game communication system, verbally I should say, is 
crucial to the experience when it comes to playing Halo, especially if you're playing much more uh, on the competitive side of things for like the hardcore playlist or invasion. You need some actual teamwork to coordinate to let people know where people are, when to push up, what kind of kills you need to pick up, what weapons spawned up, things like that. Uh, currently on PC, I'm not getting any of that besides just people calling people each other jerks on a text chat and so having a way to maybe have an open mic to where you can call out positions and stuff like that would be super beneficial for team communication right there uh, for the fifth edition coming to the mcc is a ui slash ux improvements around navigation roster customization and many other areas of the game now i would say that for the most part the ui and user experience of the mcc is good it's not perfect, but it can certainly can see its improvements, and I would really like to see that for sure. Especially when it comes to the customization. Uh, the, my biggest gripe is actually when it comes to customization, is that the, when you're scrolling through what you have to unlock, for especially for the helmets, that they're, each helmet has its own variation, right? But then you have to click into that helmet to see what you have it unlocked, or even if you have it unlocked. And then when you back out, You'll see you get put you right back to the to the top of the list of different helmets, and then you're like, wait, which helmet was I just looking at? What position am I in? I don't know which what parts of this helmet I have unlocked and stuff like that. And so, if there's a way to kind of improve that, I certainly would like that a lot. I think another UI improvement would certainly be the ability to make it more obvious to find people's file shares, because right now what you have to do you have to go to the top the main menu click on find player and then type in their username and then search into their profile scroll down to the file share find that file share if there's a some way to make it more obvious say maybe under the create tab or something like that we have just like file share in big bold letters click on that and then you search on someone's name uh, i actually had to look up a youtube video how to search up people's file shares on mzc because it's not that obvious and so i'd really like to see uh, that improvement for sure and lastly for number six is the general stability improvements and bug fixes as there are some lingering little bugs and stability issues when it comes to the mcc uh, i recently had an issue where all just my frames just randomly dropped for whatever reason i think someone during one of my live streams when someone like gifted me a sub or something like that i'm not totally sure but something weird was happening i never experienced that before uh, but also just you know as you know people you know have certain PC builds or certain issues where stabilities might be an issue. And also just a side note with the influx of PC players coming to the MCC, 343 mentions that they're going to be working on and to improve their servers with the influx of players coming to the PC. And they're going to keep mon monitoring that and make sure they support it properly. So yeah, guys, those are the six changes coming to the MCC. Is there a time frame when these are going to be released? Not at the moment, but I can assume that these are coming out rather soon as these are all kind of fixes that can be done rather painlessly. Uh, besides implementing challenges, but I think that would be just kind of straightforward, just XP boost, and I sure they need to just kind of work out exactly how much XP to hand out. So if you guys like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. As I said earlier, it greatly helps out the channel a lot, guys. It really does. Uh, leave a comment down below what you would like to see added in into the MCC. And if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, make sure you tap subscribe. If you missed any videos, make sure to check the videos on the screen right now, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.